I'm going to do a little fencing today. This is a farm fence. This uh, was replacing an existing fence that ran along this line here. And we pushed the yard back, filled it in with some dirt. And as you can see, I have my posts lined up along here. It's going to have a corner down here. I'm not keeping any livestock, so I'm not going to build up the corners with the, with the cross sections. But I have a substantially uh, larger post for the corner. It's going to have a gate here, but I'm going to put those in later. And the gate down there, and there's going to be another gate at that far corner. Now, these posts have already been strung with the uh, string, and they're lined up. And I'm just going to run the fence along the outer area because I'm not planning on... I guess I could keep things out of the yard. The, the bumpies, the little bumps on the poles go to, to the area where you want to keep things out. If you have like cattle inside, you would want to spin these around. But I'm not going to put cattle in my yard, so I'm going to put them on the outside areas, keep things out of my yard. I have some extra fence around, and this piece wasn't big enough, so I have to get into the new piece. And I've got the ugly end I'm going to cut off and put that end on there so it's already started to rust. I don't need a rusty fence. All right, I've pulled my fence along the, uh, the T post over there. I have them strung up to this post. I'm starting to cut it. Um, I tighten each section as I go. Uh, I would string the entire thing, but it ends up being not quite as tight where you want it to be. And it looks bad. So I'll tighten it up and and uh, I'll use a uh, one of the little ratchet things and a come along and a fence puller. That at. And I'll use all these things and get that as tight as I can get it on this post and nail it down. Then I'll start the next stretch. All right, once again, my makeshift setup here. Got a ratchet tie, come along, fence stretcher attached to the end there. As you can see, this piece right here is already straightened up. But I'm going to have to, as I keep tightening it up, I'm going to have to go down to the end and and take out the slack on that part. And some problems I'm having is this is a slope. The pole is going straight up, well almost straight up. And since the, it's sloped, it's having a little bunch there at the bottom. I'll have to go and reattach that to the fence so it pulls out the slack there. The rest of it is fairly straight. Having a little problems with the uneven ground. Um, right here especially like a half inch or you know an inch maybe even is okay but when you start getting that much it's about two or three inches there it becomes troublesome I'm gonna have to go through and and uh, dig parts of this out so it'll all be even and then I can finish the tightening process all right I pulled the slack out of this part and I secured it with staples It's only it's only like a little two three inches, but it works. Pulled the bow out of the middle here. I'm just going to use a fence post hammer to get these things level and evened out and down the ground far enough. Okay, these T posts were the ones that I got from Tractor Supply, and they're very thick. And very rugged built. These were the ones I had on my previous fence. Uh, this is this was actually one of the better ones. The uh, oxidation rust and just some of them are just completely where they were in the ground they were just about to break off because they were rusted so bad. This is like the Lowe's Home Depot type that you get. It's nice to have these little hooks on there to grab the fence. But it's not worth it because they're just not as strong. Alright, about ready to undo another roll of of fencing and string the back fence here. Just remember, uh, find some place to put these little clips, otherwise, they'll end up in your foot later on.
Oh, I've got my same contraption as I used before. I finished uh, rolling that roll of uh, fence this way. I'm tightening it up. I can't secure it to this post until this cement cures. It's probably going to take a couple days, so I can't really complete this right now. I'm going to have it stretched along the fence. There's some obvious issues with some runoff and gapping, but I um, can't really deal with that until I'm done. I'll just fill it in with uh, sticks and debris and stuff. The dogs, they're not much diggers anyway, they're small. And there's a little bit of bowing at the end. Not much I could do about that because of that big hump there. So, I got so far, I'll tie it to these little posts. And in a couple days, I'll, I'll fix it to that big post. Which, when I finally get done with it, I'll trim it with a chainsaw. All right, I've got the end post tacked down. I've released the tension on this wire. It only bent them up a little bit. One didn't have to use too much. Got it all tacked to the end post, and they got the wife um, putting the little wires, tacking them to the uh, other fence post. <laughs> all right, just to give you a little glimpse of where I'm at, we've done that over there. That hasn't been done yet, and I've started to pull from this big end post here to the other big end post in the corner. Now, my problem was to the uneven ground right here. It tended to bunch right here. Uh, there's, there's the uneven ground that I'm having a problem with. I could shovel it out or make a big, um, make a little ditch in there to fit the fence down into, but I, it's not practical enough for me because eventually the fence will fall in place. But this, so I saw it, put a uh, pry bar in there, a little lever action, pulled it tight on the bottom, it'll be tight enough. Um, once I secure it down here, I'll pull it even tighter to get all the little bumps out of the fence. And that should work. If I can get these trucks to be quiet in planes, then you'll be able to hear me talk. I'll go ahead and tack these down and pull it tight and tack it down on that end. Then I'll string the last run, which goes back towards that gate over there. I had another little bow that I had to work out. Oh, to get it off the ground, I used that cart but it's same essentially the same thing pull it tight a little leverage action and tack it in all right finish tacking it in doesn't look incredibly awful only mostly awful like i said i only got little animals little dogs i just want to keep the big dogs out basically and any roaming buffaloes now i'm going to pull this in tight tack this one down and string that last piece. All right, I have to admit I got a little lazy here. Didn't feel like cutting this in two pieces. When I pulled it tight, it was bowing out along here, on this area, and it was straight the rest of the way. But to fix that, I just pulled it tight and hammered it in. It's ugly on this side, but no one's really gonna see that. <laughs> and it works, so. Whatever. All right, on this side, I have it pulled with the golf cart. That other good old trick. And it's a little high here. I'm using my crow bar, my pry bar again. Push the fence down and I'm going to tack it to the ground. I just noticed it sounds like I live in an industrial zone or something. There's always some kind of power equipment or plane flying over or truck nearby. But anyway, a lot of breath digging these holes. Um, I'm making a hybrid. It's going to be farm fence and chain link gate. Just because the poles are easy or the gate's easier to adjust on chain link. Had to use a pry bar to get some roots out of that one. I'm going to set these up since I take the measurement, make sure the, fit, the gate will fit in there. And pour some concrete, let it cure overnight, and hang the gate tomorrow. Alright, I pour the concrete in dry. And I pour the water in there wiggle it around a bit. Pretty much I've got it set how I want it to be set. The wiggling around just makes the water go down and uh, saturate the concrete completely. But 
that's about how the gate's going to look on there. I have a little bit of adjusting to do. A little bit of play on this side that I can pull it out from. I don't want to do too much because pesky dogs can get up under that. I'll end up filling that up with concrete. And this wire I intentionally left long. I'll be able to pull that back around this other piece to keep him from squeezing in there. If that doesn't work, I'll another pole in there before it gets dry. Oh ah, well. Alright, once again my neighbors are on full retard mode doing whatever they're doing. With some kind of power tool for about the last three hours. Sounds like multiple power tools. Anyway. Uh, I have put I've cemented these poles in with the, uh, the gate equipment on there too. And I put a rebar, cement rebar in there to kind of fill in the gaps. I know the dogs can get through there because they're really small. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't think the cement's completely cured yet, so I got a hammer propping it up for now just to keep it in place for the next couple days. Over here, I just put a spike in there. That should hopefully keep the dogs through there. If not, I'll wrap some wire um, in between there and so they can't get through. And. It's pretty much complete, it's just gotta sit there and wait. If that doesn't work, I'll put a, one of those gardening stakes in there. <laughs> Something to keep the dogs in. <laughs> Maybe I'll wrap that piece of wire around that pole. Something will work, we'll figure it out. But uh, so, so far I got all this done here. I have to hammer these posts in, which I'm not gonna do for y'all because I know how enjoying it is. Hemmed up over here, gotta complete these. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. And the last thing I decided not to put a pole in here, I just put some hinges and uh, some of these things in here to uh, for the hinges. Just screwed it right onto the pole. I don't know if you can see that because the sun's pretty bright out here. And over here I'll have another uh, chain link fence pole. Then I'll have that wooden post that's right there, right beside it. And I'll tack this fence to it, completing everything. Pretty much stretching out the same way I've been doing. That's pretty much it. I, I, besides filling in the holes and the gaps underneath the fence, I'll be done. Thank goodness.